Hi, this is Tom Reardon, math teacher from Ohio. Why TI Inspire CX? This activity is inserting pictures and using mathematics to model them, and this is the third in the series. TI Inspire CX, the handheld and software, are now both in color. Why Inspire CX? It is a learning tool and a teaching tool. It is no longer just a graphing calculator has a touchpad and is in beautiful color. Pictures worth a thousand words, I say it's worth several equations. With TI Inspire CX, students can investigate how to model mathematically shapes that occur in the real world for themselves. Watch. Here we're using TI Inspire SmartView emulator software, but exactly what we do will be done on the student's hand well as well. This is the third in the series. Uh, these are the directions. I'll talk you through them as we get to them. And here's the picture. You may look familiar. We did this similar picture before. We would like to model mathematically an equation that goes through the points on this parabola or this uh, fountain relative to the coordinate system that I put here. Uh, the directions are to grab these points here and place them about where the They are on the curve. I think there are five of them. There might be seven, but if there are seven, we'll see. So I'll go ahead and put. Always want one about where the vertex is. It has to be gray when I leave it. And yeah, there are five. So let's see, I put this one down maybe here. Okay. And now um, the directions are to go ahead and on here on the same page where the picture is, go to menu, uh, analyze, number six, regression. And again, it looks like it's going to be some kind of a quadratic, number four. And that's pretty much the quadratic relative to this pair of axes. I don't know if we can change this color or not. Can we change the color? Mm, yellow, that was kind of nice. Uh, we'll go with red. Yeah, it shows up pretty good, I think. So to recap, here is a third way or fourth way maybe of uh, modeling data using uh, TI Inspire CX, importing pictures, um, using color. Uh, this is the end of the video.